So guys, I'm doing this video again because I was cut off. I hope I'm on camera. I don't know. <laughs> Usually, I, you know what I normally do when I film? I just film it and then upload it. I don't even watch it because I don't want to become self-conscious. Again, part of doing this and telling you guys the truth and, and trying to figure out if I'm on camera is that if I watch it, I may be inclined to edit, not edit it, but delete it. Because like I said, I don't have any editing software really. What I have on this is um, photos. So I can, um, if I wanted to, I can try to do some things. But this is a jitterbug phone and it um, doesn't have all the bells and whistles as like my iPhone had. So I can't really do the type of editing that I used to do when I had my iPhone or when I had apps. So it's, I'm trying to make progress, but progress is slow. In the background, you'll hear the television. Now, I told you I'm not going to talk about the schemey scammies as much because those are the, the other groups. I'll talk about the walnuts. Now, the walnuts are the ones who talk all day long. And um, they like to yell things out. And they said that's how they can doctor my videos and overlay it with other stuff. So... If you hear them in the background, please ignore them. I was trying to get find a way to make, make it so that they don't this doesn't pick them up. But now you know what? Maybe it's best because whoever's out there who has the ability to hear them can hear them. But I don't want to focus my channel on just the gang stalkers and all of that stuff. I want it to be about other more important things. Um, another quick thing is they said they magnetize my eyes or something to my eyes so they can see what I'm reading. So they said somehow they rigged this apartment so that based on where I'm looking, they can see what I'm reading. And that's their little trick. So if you're familiar with that, tell people that these are there, there are people out there trying to do that. They said it was connected to the university I graduated from, but I graduated in 1995. That was decades ago. It's, it's just a lot. But I don't want to focus today on all of that. I want to focus today on something more positive. So I told you guys I was going to try to do these hair videos. This is what I'm trying to do today. And I told you earlier that this is a craft that you'll find in my making a chalkboard out wall art. You don't have to put it in a frame glass. You can put it just plain, just a, a black poster board. You can use chalk and just scribble the chalk on it then dust it off. Scribble. I call it seasoning the chalkboard because it's like similar to seasoning a cast iron pan where you sort of prep it and then once you prep it, it's done. In this case, all I did was take chalk right on the black poster board. So the previous part of this video was cut off, so I'm now going to do, do the hairstyle that I did in that. And you'll see my grays are coming in. I can't wait for my grays to come in. So what I did was I took some castor oil. And I got this really, it's a really good price. I think it was like $3. And um, in the previous video, I was telling you that you can take these types of cards, these recipe cards, you might get them, uh, you might buy them or you can get them from like a flea market or maybe some of your relatives have those recipe cards. And just take the recipe card, put it, uh, maybe your little secret ingredients to make it. You see, they just knocked because I don't know what the word secret means to them. But it, the, the walnuts obviously like the word secret. Anyway, um, you put your little secret ingredients in um, a jar with your seasoning and whatever, you know, you could put whatever you need to sort of help the person prepare the recipe. And that makes a really good gift for someone who likes to cook or someone who doesn't have time to cook. That's a great thing if someone's sick, you know, with the various illnesses. If someone's sick, you can just help them by giving them a pan, giving them the ingredients, and they can make the food. And if you really can, you can also just do the whole thing for them. And then the gift will be not only the um, item, but you can let them keep whatever container you stored it in. So that's a really quick and easy gift. So what I wanted to do is show you how, you know, I told you my hair is coming out from all the stress and from this situation, but I wanted to show you some of the hairstyles that I plan on doing now. So I wanted to show you this, I brushed my hair. And instead of putting an elastic, I'm going to use this headband. So I use headbands all the time. I use headbands not only for um, a headband, but also to contain my hair. 
So I did a high ponytail earlier, but I'm going to do a low one. And instead of doing it with the ends out like this, I'm going to take it and wrap it around for a very quick and easy bun. And I'm not doing a high bun, I'm doing a low bun. So I'm going to just take a mirror see. Okay, so I did the bun and it's gonna be just an easy, quick and easy bun. And if, like for example, if my, my hair gets puffy, I'll use another headband, but I'll show you how I'm going to do it without the headband. I had some, I had earlier some Barbie pins. So since I don't have Barbie pins, again, the best part about doing these types of um, hairstyles, if you don't have a Barbie pin, don't worry. Just take your headband, slick your hair behind your ear like this, put the headband on it like that. So if you don't want to have, if you don't want to have the, the Barbie pins because it's, you know, it's summertime, let me just fix this and then we're done. So sometimes, you know, it's hot. You don't want the Barbie pins sticking you. It may get uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. Just take your headbands. So I got these headbands, I think from Target and I got a, a pack of them. And they were really inexpensive. So I, I think they came like maybe three of them in a pack. And I just use them. Sometimes they come in different colors. I chose to get black. And let me see. So there you are. You have a really fast, easy hairstyle for the summer. And um, I don't know. I guess... Since this is my first really complete hairstyle video, I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. I hope I'm on camera. I hope you guys can see that. So if I wanted to take this and if I decided I don't want to have it in this um, bun, I'll show you one other thing. I hope I don't get cut off, folks. It shouldn't be cut off, but... If I don't want it in this bun, 